From Frank spotting a mysterious stranger in the show's very first episode, to Jamie's love for Claire allowing him to take a trip outside of his physical form, here's the real story behind the ghost in Outlander. Over the seasons, the show has done a pretty good job of tying up loose ends and solving mysteries. But there's one puzzle that's been bugging fans since the pilot episode, Sassanac. You see, Claire is on this second honeymoon with her first hubby, Frank, when things take a wild turn. Just when you think it's gonna be a typical romantic getaway, Claire gets zapped back in time through some mystical stones at Craig Naw Dune. But here's the kicker. Before her time-traveling escapade, Frank spots this Highlander dude outside their inn. Naturally, Frank approaches the man peering at his room. But as he goes to tap him on the shoulder, the figure pulls a disappearing act right before Frank's eyes. Poof. Vanished. You can imagine his shock, and here's where it gets juicy. When Frank returns to the room, his wife notices his puzzled expression and says, You look like you've seen a ghost. Frank, with a mix of confusion and excitement, replies, I'm not all sure that I haven't. Boom. Mind blown. And guess who this ghost is? None other than Jamie Fraser, the heartthrob of the show as confirmed by Diana Gabaldon, the mastermind behind the books. But here's the big question. How the heck did he manage to show up at Claire's doorstep before they even officially met? Now, there's a lot of confusion around this mind-boggling storyline, but I've got some juicy tidbits about Jamie's ghostly apparition that might explain things. In a thrilling 2014 interview with the Outlander podcast, Diana Gabaldon spilled some interesting info about the age of Jamie's ghost. And let me tell you, it's quite the head-scratcher. The Outlander author didn't have this whole age thing on her mind until Sam Hewen, Jamie Fraser's actor, posed the question. She then shot back with an answer. Drumroll, please. Jamie's ghost is approximately 25 years old. Now, here's where things get interesting. If you're up to speed with the series, you know darn well that Jamie doesn't die at the tender age of 25. Oh no, he lives on for many more adventures. So naturally, Gabaldon's revelation set the Outlander community ablaze with theories and speculations. On her website's FAQ section, she assured fans that everything will be revealed in due time, promising clarity on our suspicions. Now, here's a little gem she shared on Twitter back in 2015 that adds another layer to this ghost puzzle. Gabaldon wrote, Ghosts don't exist in a place where time has meaning. Cue the dramatic music. So my fellow Hewans Hooligans, we're left with a strange explanation about Jamie's ghost. And until we get to the bottom of this, why don't we dabble in some wild fan theories? Some fans have got this insane idea about Jamie's ghostly appearance in Claire's original timeline. They think that maybe the Gaelic Festival of Samhain has something to do with it, along with those mysterious rules that govern time travel through the stones. Now, Jamie doesn't have the natural ability to time travel, so it's a total mystery how he managed to show up in the 20th century. But one sharp fan has this theory that Jamie's appearance actually played a crucial role in bringing Claire back to 18th century Scotland, where their epic love story began. According to one Redditor, they think that what Frank saw was Jamie's ghost or some sort of spirit. They believe that, being close to Sam Hain, Jamie called out to Claire and knew exactly where to find her because they had crossed paths before. Talk about some next-level cosmic connection. You see, in Gaelic tradition, Samhain is this festival that happens around Halloween, and it's believed that during that time, the barrier between our world and the spirit world is thinner than usual. So if the Outlander universe follows this tradition, Jamie's spirit might have projected itself through time to nudge Claire back into the past. And in this case, since Claire hadn't even met Jamie yet, his spirit appeared to lead her through the centuries, following her heart to find her one true love. Sounds crazy, right? These fans really know how to come up with some interesting theories. I mean, just take a look at this next one. This one fan on social media came up with a real mind bender. According to their theory, Jamie's dying wish could have been to catch a glimpse of his beloved Claire before they officially crossed paths. You know, back when she was young and free from all that magical stuff. Imagine the intensity of that desire. It would totally explain why he appears all decked out in his prime, rocking that Scottish warrior look he always saw himself as. Talk about making a grand entrance. Now hold on to your kilts because it gets even more fascinating. So remember when Claire paid a visit to Inverness? Well, guess what? It just so happens to coincide with the Samhain Festival. Here, Jamie's dying wish might have come true. 
It's like fate itself conspired to give him that precious chance to catch a glimpse of his beloved, even if it was just for a fleeting moment. It's enough to make you believe in magic, isn't it? And if you don't exactly buy that theory, don't worry about it. I got another lined up for you. You see, there's this Facebook user who's got her own little theory about what could have gone down. You know, according to the Catholic belief system, a lot of people out there seem to think that Jamie, being the violent dude he was, would end up in purgatory. But hey, hold on a minute. In Celtic lore, there's the festival of Samhain, you know, the special time when the dead can visit the living. So here's what this theory suggests. Jamie's done his time in purgatory, and he's all set to reunite with Claire. But get this. Since he's a ghost and all, he's got the ability to jump between different dimensions. So when his 200-year sentence is up, he time travels back to the exact moment he first meets Claire. Smart move, Jamie. According to this, everything we've seen on the show so far has actually been a flashback of their lives together. Talk about mind-blowing. And guess what? The grand finale of it all is Jamie's purgatory finally ending, and he can finally be with Claire. Together, they sail off to the heavenly skies. Ah, love conquers all. Now, some fans think there's some evidence to support this wild theory. Jamie himself once said in the episode, Dragonfly and Amber, that he'd find Claire no matter what, even if it meant enduring two centuries of purgatory. I mean, who would have thought of this insane connection? If you think that one was too much of a reach, you might resonate with this next one because it's a bit more down to earth. According to this theory, it's not all about Jamie and his time-traveling adventures. Nope, it's actually Frank who's the star of the show in this particular scene. Picture this. Poor old Frank catches a glimpse of the future that awaits his wife without him. It's like he's getting a sneak peek into what's to come. A little preview of the life Claire is about to have without him by her side. Maybe this is the universe being all sneaky and preparing Frank for the inevitable. Now, this theory might not have all the supernatural pizzazz of ghosts and time jumps, but it's got its own charm. It's like a gentle warning to Frank, giving him a heads up about the path his relationship is about to take. You got to admit, it adds a touch of drama and intrigue to the story, doesn't it? But speaking of supernatural pizzazz, let's take a look at this seriously head-spinning theory. Check this out, some Outlander fans believe that when Jamie kicks the bucket, his soul doesn't exactly say goodbye for good. It decides to take a little vacation outside his body through a process called astral projection. Basically, his spirit takes a temporary trip out of his physical form, like a little ghostly adventure. But that's not all. Another mind-boggling idea floating around is that Jamie's death in one timeline, particularly at the infamous Culloden battle, somehow triggered a chain reaction. In this twisted scenario, Claire manages to time travel back in time, save Jamie from his tragic fate, and bring him into a whole new timeline. Talk about rewriting history. Now what's the driving force behind all this astral projection and timeline hopping, you ask? Well, it's none other than his beloved Claire. Jamie's got such an intense love for her that the thought of her keeps him going, even in the face of death. It's like the ultimate love story meets cosmic magic. These theories blend elements of near-death experiences, the sheer force of love, and the crazy concept of time travel, adding an extra layer of complexity to Jamie's journey. And whatever the backstory this mysterious ghost ends up having, it's definitely gonna be one that's completely mind-blowing. So, from Jamie's love for Claire allowing him to take a trip outside of his physical form, to Frank seeing Jamie's ghost disappearing right before his eyes in Sassanok, this was the real story behind the ghost in Outlander.